so your battery is flat or you've got something going on the screen and it's showing you errors like this then you're going to need to change the battery now you can get tesla to do it if it's under warranty but what happens if it's not under warranty or you need to change it quite quickly and tesla can't do it in time well i'm going to show you what you need to do and you just can't go taking out the battery just off the terminals like you would on a normal battery you have to do a few things first and i'm going to show you what they are so that you get it right that you don't hurt yourself i'm going to show you right now now's back talking tesla my car is a 2019 model 3 but this video is correct for all models and all years of the tesla including yours please subscribe and you'll get the latest releases and i can provide personal help with the features and enhancements if you get stuck Need to make sure that windows are left open in the front and in the back that way if the power is not returned or something happens you can still open the car to get into a the back power off and b the front there if you need to get back in after you've opened all the windows as a safety precaution, the next thing you need to do is turn the screen off. So you do this very easily as follows. So in to safety, power off. That will turn off the screen. Also, you want to stop the windows rolling up. And we do that by going in to locks, scroll up all the way and close windows on lock remove that's that so after you've turned off the screen you're going to need to take the battery off here now there's a little catch for this so i'm going to remove the catch you just slide it to the left this pops up there you go and there is a polystyrene piece remove the polystyrene you can see the plug what you do now with the plug is you've got this little top lever there you're going to push it down all the way down and it releases the plug you take it out and now the 400 volts is now disconnected it's safe to work now before we do any more of that let me show you what you need to do at the front of the car if you get stuck not enough power to open the front as long as the doors are open you can power the front open with a 9 volt battery so let me take you into the front and let me show you what you need to do to get in there you're going to look at this area here now this can be very fiddly to get in here what do you do the best thing is you push the top at the same time using a little spudger so you press it in like so and then with a little spudger there you go you can now let's use that side of it it's better you can now just pop it out once it's popped out you can see there's a little tag at the top so be careful of that and now you have access to the cables now the red which is the positive is on the lid itself and the negative is on the actual little tag okay here's the battery so you want to put the positive to the positive on the actual front of the cover and the negative goes onto the tag so let's hold it on there for you here we go and put it that way in what it will do is it will release it enough for it to pop open bear in mind if it's completely flat it will actually open for you so you don't have to worry that you couldn't get into your front to change your battery so that is a brilliant one that you'll be able to pop up your front and get in and do it with the hand show if you have no power to the button there is a little link that you can just pull on the hand show and it will release it but you have to have no power so in other words no one could just pop that open get to it and then get into your front and then do whatever they need to now let me show you how to put it back in you slide the wires back now you see at the top you've got that little lip that needs to go in first in that corner just there so you slide it in it'll just put it in and then you just pop it in like so you just push it hold the top one press it in together and it's done nice and nothing breaks off once you've got the actual power plug out the car is safe therefore the 400 volts is no longer being fed to the car which means that you can quite happily touch those terminals not have to worry that you're going to get a shock 
and you'll be able to take the battery off. Once you've done all those things, it's very simple, couple of screws, but you have to take the little tub that goes round because you can't get it out without removing that. And it's only seven screws and I shall show you now. So you unclip the actual cover on the top, then you get your power screwdriver, you take off the bottom clips as you see there and you carry on and they're all over there. There's only seven of them. Once you've done that, there you go. You just take off there and that's done. And then you can remove it and it's removed, ready to put the battery in. We're going to loosen the tie down bracket then the negative lug there. And then we're going to take off the positive. Right, we're unscrewing this bracket all the way off. So we're going to take it completely out. And once we've done that, I'm going to explain to you that there is actually two types of these brackets that you have to be aware of. So let's get this one out. Take that. The two types are like this. This one, all you do is you just turn it to the, the side there. You pull it forward and then you just turn it out and then you can just take it out. And that just pops out like that. With the closed version, you just slide it back like so and lift out the front and then you can get it out. Now we've got the new one in and as you see it's ready to go. The terminals on the left are all out. I'm going to put them on. We're going to start screwing them up there. Put that bracket back in. The terminal's there. And the terminal there. Put those back on. And then we're ready to go. And as you see, it's all ready. All nicely brackets back in place. Now we're going to put the plug back on. So let's slide it down. Here it goes back in place. Clip it back up. It doesn't take that long, but without those safety precautions in place, you could get yourself in trouble. There could be residual current on the terminals. You may get a spark if you touch something. It'll give you a problem. Now you think, wouldn't you, that they could have on the screen a little section for the health of the battery be very easy for tesla wouldn't it you know you go in there you want to see what your 12 volt battery is doing it says that you're going to need one it's projected you're going to get three thousand miles left or less or be replaced within a very short time you know where you stand you can get in you can report it and done because eventually all of the warranties are going to be out and if your car is four years old you're not going to be covered under warranty anymore so you're going to have to pay for this battery yourself and if it stops and fails tesla won't help you and come out you'll be sort of a lurch stuck there worrying what you're going to do about it. So we all should get to Elon, tweet him, Elon Musk, saying, Elon, can we have this feature on our cars as this is going to help everyone? And then, you know, we might get it on one of the next update. It's not going to be difficult for them, is it? They've just got to put on a, a you know, software that will appear and you'll see that on your screen. So, yes, it can be done. And remember, we've just got 20.8 and... If you wonder what that is about, there's a video coming up about this. Now, I know everybody's raving at the moment about 24.1. Well, it is coming. It is still in the States being looked at by the employees. At the moment, there's about 58 people that have got this and are testing it. So we're not going to get it for another couple of weeks. But we have got 28.8, which is this video here. And you can find out all about it. Anyway, I hope this has been helpful to you. And if your battery runs out, now you know what to do about it. Till the next one, I look forward to seeing you then. I'll be seeing ya.